Okay, well, it turns out it was actually my tablet that was setting off the alarm. So instead of just re-recording the video, I'm just going to upload it in two parts. Okay, the other one was getting a little long anyway. Don't worry about it. It's the same camera quality. It's the same spot. It's the same lighting. It's the same everything. But anyway, uh, where was I? I believe I was talking about lycanthropy in part one, actually. Um, yes, there was actually... Um, some people have debated whether or not lycanthropy is actually a metaphor for schizophrenia, actually. Uh, well, yes and no. There was a time in the... Um, early, what you would deem the Cenozoic Age, where there was about like six to ten different hominid species. Some of them were like African American, and some were like white Neolith humans in Western Europe, actually. Ish. Humans at that time, just like your Bible, did deem these creatures as abominations and monsters, actually. It is rumored that there were white-skinned wolf people that were hunting peaceful fruit-eating humans in the South because the first humans were basically Middle Eastern and black. Unless you count, you know, like Western Europe, but hey, this is written in like um, Jerusalem and stuff like that, so those humans weren't really part of your book yet. So you can imagine, you know, the discrepancies in between a white Neolith human and essentially a woke chimpanzee. If you look at the feet of a baboon, you know, these are the two types of legs. There's plantigrade, which is a human being which has a knee and a hip and an ankle. And then there's digitigrade, which is basically a camel. You know, why do their knees bend the wrong? Because it's technically an ankle, like a giraffe. But, just saying, I mean, a lemur is basically a, a, a monkey that looks like a fox and a squirrel. What is a fox? A tiny wolf that acts like a cat with slit eyes, which are actually meant to see through grass, actually at low elevations. Crocs have it too, because they're huge, but they're slung to the ground. Yes, n yes. Everything above a certain height has round pupils, like tigers, actually, and wolves. But, Anyway, that's what they would do. They would go down to the south, like Yaucha predator hunts, or berserker predators, and they would hunt fruit-eating humans from the south, actually. There are cannibal roots in a lot of tribes in places like New Guinea, where they'll feed the Wells catfish, actually dead people. Monitor lizards, too, will dig graves, but only when they're hungry. Listen, we'll talk more about I want you to remember Wells catfish for another video, actually. But um, some of that is true, actually. The whole white creature, um, they did also talk about a Frankenstein, actually. Yes. That had a bald head. Yes. That might have been bothered by electric eels, like Orichi. Yes. It is rumored that this false basilisk hood Godzilla and Kong over here, the son of man, might actually be lovers, actually. Pretty much, you guys. So, what have we learned today? I tell people all the time, and I said this in my last video too, if you're disappointed with what a chimpanzee is, that's why we talk about movies like Nope. Uh, and Casual Geographic is another YouTuber that I tip my beanie to is that uh, gorillas, chimps, will actually get drunk off of, like, rice rum, and they will actually eat human babies for no fucking reason, actually. When they're sober, they will actually kill gorilla kids. Why? Gorillas are pretty much herbivores. They don't compete with you for food at all. They live on different sides of the river, actually. There's two gorillas. There's a silverback normal one, and there's a woolly mountain gorilla, actually that lives in higher elevations. There's no reason for you to do that. In fact, just the other day, I had heard on a rerun of Tosh that technically chimps are only supposed to be used in film until they're about eight years old. I mean, they don't live as long as humans. A wolf will reach puberty at about one and a half, as opposed to a dog, which is like nine months. And then you have a Greenland shark, which will basically take 150 woke years to reach puberty, and they'll live until they're like 500. But when they're about eight or so, they start realizing what they are. I compare it to basically a thumbed dog that will not bite your face off over literal dental floss. It won't. Listen, they don't touch your dog while they eat. We pet him on the. We had a dog named Tucker who was a pit bull border collie mix, and we pet him on the back just while we were eating. Okay. Didn't bother anyway. Feed him ice. Didn't bother anything. Crackers game discs, PS2 game discs, headsets, didn't bother him. When you give a dog a hand bone, you put it out in the backyard. And 
Listen to me. I hate to rain on your parade a little bit. There are plenty of hero dogs out there. My grandparents, Judy and Steve Marr, actually had like seven dogs. Six, I believe. I believe they had like, hold on a sec. I believe they had like six Rottweilers and one German Shepherd and a couple of cats. And I knew two of them. I knew Allie and Chardonnay, who was a rescue dog from folks that, you know, just are enthusiasts, like wine enthusiasts. They just named their dogs after certain drinks. No disrespect. She was like literally tan red when they got her, actually. But anyway, um, pretty much. Why on earth do you have to do that? You do know how big you are when you jump up on us and lick us, don't you? It's almost like you kind of know what you are. A little disingenuous about your autism. Overly diagnosed. Anxiety is a thing, because everyone's scared of shit, especially now. Quit giving the pills out to people that don't need it, because some kids are actually suffering. Just like Travis, the chimp, actually, was actually given Xanax laced tea, believe it or not. Yep, after this woman's family died, this chimp was all she had, actually. Yeah, there are stories of chimps that are actually trying to traumatize, reintroduce chimps from, like, rescue homes and entertainment retirement places. There's one story where, like, three chimps actually beat the shit over this guy over a birthday cake that they didn't get. As opposed to a gorilla, which can do sign language. There's others other than Coco, actually, believe it or not. One of them is a gorilla named Michael, actually who actually did do sign language, channeling memories from when he was about two years old. When men with scary paint on their faces actually burned his, his cradle and ate his mom. Yep. Cash G made a joke about that. There was a story where these guys were taunting an orangutan until he tried to pull him in the cage. It's like the only time an orangutan has ever been aggressive to a person. And he made a joke about Harambe sitting up in heaven going, ain't that some bullshit. <laughs> He's got great titles like Why Hippos? We're sent to punish humanity, educated bird slander, and proof that birds don't have a soul. They're, he's freaking great, actually. But, anyway, so here's the deal. We're going to go over the highlights again. Jotunheimer, Trolls, Nephilim, Giants, Attack on Titan, Japanese Cry for Help, Skull Demon, Wendigo. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Roseanne. You know, got it. We're going to talk about the Wendigo, actually. There's two instances of a Wendigo, believe it or not.